feel a little bit more comfortable. Well, it's not just I'm swapping them back and forth so people can see them. No, oh no, no. So no, we're going to no. follow and the blue for right so now. Because and we'll leave I have red people with me. I mean, I'm moving into this at home, and if I so we're end up doing this a couple times, like, well, whatever. But now that you're. There you go. The detail you're seeing on the blue right It's like not like being watched, but with the cutting earlier, I was fine until I knew people were watching. She's got the cartoon below the glass. It's like, oh. So she's what she's about to do is start painting over top. So great story for you. I heard from Harry Connick Jr. when I went to a concert of his like 20 years ago. He did a show, a live show. Um, and Frank Sinatra was there, uh, Ella Fitzgerald was there, and a young Harry Connick Jr. was there. Oh, wow. And Harry Connick Jr. goes back in the green room, and Ella Fitzgerald, she's sitting there, and not hyperventilating, but she's looking stressed out. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's like, Miss Fitzgerald, are you okay? She's like, oh yeah, honey, I just, I get nervous before every show like this. <laughs> and he's like, and it was an amazing moment for him that, you know, he was nervous meeting, you know, Ella Fitzgerald, Ella Fitzgerald. And, and Frank Sinatra, and he was just terrified. And I'm glad I'm able to sit back and just adjust these as, things in real time while y'all do the art. There. And he messed <laughs> Usually up. Usually I'm trying to do art he, and do this song at the same time. Song, yeah, it he does. Extremely. And he ran into Frank, uh, Mr. Sinatra in the elevator, and he just, he, he, he looks at Eric Conn Jr., and then he turns to Harry Tarnatier's wife and says, you, you're beautiful, and then gives her a kiss on the cheek. So she's getting her hand, <laughs> and I do this in calligraphy, you get your Harry hand used to the motion. Like, kind of a look, because he messed up his song. Before you actually commit line. to the actual uh, final draft. Right now she's getting those. That's yeah. exactly what she goes. There she goes. There she goes. I can hear you. What? You don't, don't hear us. Just, the just Czech, work. The Czechoslovakian <laughs> judge is... Uh, Already looking at giving her a 7.2, but uh, Great Britain seems to be very pleased with her opening strokes here. Oh, masterpiece! Look at, look at that stroke! Look at that mom! Wow, that that that's you, amazing. You just don't see that every day. No, you don't. No, you actually don't. Um, I did see it one time uh, whenever I was at the, uh, the the Budapest orphanage. Really? 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 Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, that's extraordinary. That's <laughs> extraordinary. Uh, I, I think that uh, you know. Budapest has a lot of things to offer. And well, orphans are the landing earlier with the uh, the technical. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the quality of the orphans in Budapest are uh, uh, well, substantial. And you know, orphan tears are only ever fresh once. Oh, so exactly. You know, Especially the redheaded orphans. It's so true. Yes. So true. Uh, They're so funny. Yeah. Yeah. They think. Gingers, uh, gingers are a special breed, and we, we must uh, always remember that, you know. When a ginger weeps, it's better than them sucking your soul out. You know? God. I'll have my wife now. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh, look. It's a masterpiece. Look at that. Video configure. There it is. It's stunning. Ah, we're, get stunning. Like, we're missing like, stunning. Like, oh, oh, we're missing dropping. stunning. It's almost like the brush is attached to her hand. It's, it's, it's really it's brightening up. Just a hair. And maybe two brush. Yeah, yeah, that works. I'm like, I'm like, you know, can you ever really get too bright? I mean, contrast a contrast is going to wash out. These little pieces want to keep moving. And uh, over there, uh, you know, not to be forgotten, Charlotte's over there uh, putting a base coat on uh, thicker than Miss USA pageant. We'll go over to her in just a second. It's, it's, uh, we'll definitely cut over to her screen. I, yeah, I haven't really right. seen a base coat put on that thick before. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Go ahead and... Uh, Let's take a look and see what she's doing. Bloop. There she is there. She's painting those small pieces. Those are actually kind of difficult to do because... Especially with a brush that big. Yeah, and you start moving all over. Yeah, they'll just slide yeah, yeah, around yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, She's got good good control. I think she beats her husband with a wooden spoon. She does, she does. She does? Oh, yeah. Okay, He's, good. Uh, he deserves it, I'm sure. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, something you find on the, on the little pieces like that, especially with the hay that's bigger than the piece, is you'll get the paint pulling back towards the middle and pulling away from the edges occasionally, and that makes it a little tricky. We actually have a plastic, a red plastic spoon that has a cut out, a cut out of the Kool-Aid Man. Nice, oh yeah. And that's what I use. Mm. So you beat your husband with Kool-Aid With a Kool-Aid Man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't beat my husband. Now, uh, I mean, going back to Michaela, she is just oh, the, let's uh, go back to Michaela. The visage of concentration, right? Iron <laughs> not to be deterred. Not, not at all. Uh, no. You really don't see that kind of driven motivation very much in one of the sports. Certainly right. not the world. I tell you what, it's uh, you know, I really feel like I've gotten the the bang for my buck in this 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 adventure. If you look, look at that mouth. Look at that jawline. That strong jawline. This right. guy. 
This guy's obviously been around the block. This, this guy I mean, could be in a church somewhere. He could. He could. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, I'm pretty sure he could tempt me. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> uh, we were interviewing Michaela earlier, and she said it looked a lot like her uncle Ted. Ted. Uh, yeah, Ted. Um, nice never, guy from Monmouth, apparently, in England. I've never have met Ted. I haven't met Ted either, but uh, apparently oh. he is an attorney. Oh. Uh, and, you know, and they're a little less formal in England, and so their attire is, you know, a little bit more traditionalist, if you will. Right. The attorney of ill repute, or uh, well, some know, repute? Of ill repute, but of good reputation. <laughs> okay. <You know. laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I am stunned that Kayla has managed to ignore us this entire time. Right. Uh, and she hears and is taking out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's all John's fault. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just a producer. <laughs> oh, I'm just a producer. <laughs> I'm just the producer. Um, That's looking really good, though. Yeah, it is looking really good. So if you look, you can see how she's filling in that area. And she's actually getting that, that flooding in so that nice, that crest really pops. That's going to be key here. It's going to really define Franklin. Uh, he's going to come out looking uh, quite diabolic because he'll have his little horns and his little like, 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 like <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's said diabolic. Diabolical. He definitely deserves a new ha ha. So, what are you doing now, Charlotte? You're just removing paint that. I'm actually, I'm removing the marker that we used. Okay. I, I don't want it there when we fire it. Okay. Where do we put the heat gun? It's in front of me. Where? Oh, I'm going to move that out of the way. Usually it comes off fairly easy. Okay. Now that you know, you're paying attention to me, it isn't. That's okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. It's all right, though. We didn't start the timer until a few seconds ago. Right. So you're okay. I got free time. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, you've got some time. Can't document it. Right, it's okay. Okay. Now so it's those potato things are pretty good. Yeah, they are. What's up? Now look at that head. I like it. See how that, just that flooding in that area just really starts to bring it out of his face? Do you call that, stomping? Huh? Do you call it pouncing or stomping? Nope. Flooding. Um, we call it flooding. That's going to be like almost in navy blue when it's sun. No. No, no, it'll stay, it'll be a little bit darker, but you got to remember, we're going to lose 30% <coughs> of that shading mm. to the kiln. And right. It'll just burn off. It'll burn off. And so yeah. what we're going to do is end up with a nice uh, lighter blue with some dark blue shades in, in it. Uh, it won't be nearly as dark as it appears now. Okay. And when you put sunlight behind it, it'll magnify that even more. It'll, be, it'll just explode with light. So we're going to have a local news outlet come in and uh, tomorrow, and they're going to want to see stuff. So, let's see. So, I don't know if they'll be able to see this or not, but uh, if you look here, you'll be able to see, you should be able to see some. Here, let me switch over to that camera, John. All right. You might be able to see the green in there. Yeah. That's the silver stain on the blue glass, so it's yellow on blue, so it comes up to a nice green. And that's what we're going to be doing to the demon, the part of the demon is putting in that nice green color for some stripes and pustules, so he looks appropriately wild. Okay. Uh, you really don't want to neglect uh, Franklin at all. You want to really want to capitalize on that. that this is true. Yeah, that poxy, uh, plague-having, uh, yeah, like ridden, like, sort of like a Nurgle. If you're, yeah, a, if, like, yeah, if you're a Warhammer fan, I like Papa Nurgle. Yeah, yeah Papa Nurgle, exactly. Love it. So my question is, do we want to do something around the eye <laughs> we need socket? I wonder if we need to like be... link up some Papa Nurgle stuff. But I don't know. I was where thinking that about that. Yeah, yeah, because like, this is we can, we can play with that around the eye Nurgle's socket, all about sort of bring it in and distension. See how it kind of comes. Well, yeah. 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 It's not like Slanesh. <laughs> we're not it's doing Slanesh. Slanesh. No, we're not doing. No, this is not a Slanesh channel. Today, this is a Nurgle channel. It means Warhammer. Give him a little bit of guy so you, can actually, <laughs> you can actually start seeing that, that blood for the blood base to come out. Because just yeah. just the and that'll, I think it will help out when, with the um, so really bringing like, this guy out. Aren't demons the like the original goths? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> right? Steampunks are just goths that found brown. There you go. This guy is looking fabu. It's really good. Yeah. 
Mm. Got a little dark. Let's darken it up a little bit. Yeah, we need to darken that up a little bit because we'll have a little tame in there, but it's not going to cover everything. Do you have any questions, Elizabeth? So occasionally, Elizabeth, one of the artists here, she keeps like pokes her head over the monitor. It's like, oh man, it's cool. Oh, it is. <laughs> So has she removed any, or is it just the light shining through? Yeah, that's the just the light shining through. Just She's light. just defined with yeah. trace lines and flooding. Right. And it's amazing how much of an image actually comes through. And then when she starts actually shading by removing some of that base coat, right. you're going to get that three-dimensional pop, and you're going to get a lot like of uh, He's so gone. features. Yeah. Cool. Should I, should I thicken it up a bit? Or? She had mentioned... Applying the paint too thickly. It's a little bit higher because we got the lead so coming down. Yeah. Up slowly. So when, when you apply the paint, if you apply it too thickly, it can bubble. So what you're trying to do is <laughs> put an appropriate amount, uh, and part of that is pigment control, water control, yep, uh, and keeping that paint in a mixture that is appropriate. Uh, if she just sits there and just dumps a bunch of paint and leaves it, it's a real puddle. You're going to end up with some real problems. But she's actually pulling the paint and stretching it out. She just has a high pigment ratio, mm -hmm. so it's going to black out nicely, and that's that's the goal. If you look, you see that curled nose. That just guy already looks. Franklin looks angry. It, it looks like he's you know. So, and so you're looking at definition on the eye. Up there so what's going to happen now is we're going to put the lead cane in after it's fired, towels, and the eye is going to have uh, some uh, okay. a little twinkle in it, make it look just diabolical. Got you. Thank you so and much. We're going to yeah. insert that eye when that's inserted. This thing's going to look stunning. Um, it looked pretty wild. Oh, that's awesome, Michaela. Skyliner. All right. Eyeliner. Skyliner. 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 <laughs> that one. Okay. That's right. Go bigger, go so, on. How do you feel about the outline around the arm? I think so, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, because I've got to let this dry before I start doing my pull away. Yeah. I can, I can finish outlining these two pieces, and then I will take it over and heat gun it. Heat gun is up very front. Right, we're moving. Uh, we're moving, we're moving. Are you, uh, right. we're moving. Let me know when you're, so, um, when you're done, because I'm going to jump on yours and do that fork. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to, um, this is something that's going to Adam, you got the paint too? All right. Um, but no, so, I mean, sometimes you can use a hair dryer or heat gun to quickly dry the back background. You cannot do it with flooding, because yeah. the flooding goes on thick. It's like a puddle, and you'll just end up splattering that. Uh, yeah, move. Yeah. The, the hilarity of it is, is great, uh, but when you're on a time schedule, not so much. Not so great. Gotcha. Now, what, what Adam's going to be doing here is he's going to try not to lick the paint as much. Okay. Uh, we found that uh, uh, it causes... Uh, I've never I've, you know, it's, they say that uh, I have, I've never really had any uh, problems with any never. lead and you, at all. And you look great. And yeah. you look great. Considering, yeah, considering, you know, considering all the <laughs> problems that you, that that you attribute to that, that medium, you know. I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> so Adam's going to uh, darken up those lines a little bit around the outside edge right. so we have uh, a little we'll bit more seat. depth to that arm. It'll have a little bit more separation than just, the, uh, That's than just the lead cane. The lead cane will cover that area he's doing right now, but he'll quicken it up a little bit and it'll come in nice and dark. Uh, the cane we're using is, I believe, quarter inch, so it's going to be almost an eighth inch on either side have overage um, so it'd be nice the flame jet asks uh what the hell is going on with this monkey oh you didn't know oh, you aren't I here for the monkey. the monkey oh here's the monkey i'll show you the monkey real quick we're gonna come right back this is the monkey there's a monkey Look, oh watch, monkey oh watch, my it, gosh it keeps right going there. this is my brb screen wow, <laughs> what's this? it gets better you ever had one of those when you were a kid oh we, no, no, I, had one. I had one i had one when i was three and it scared the shit out of me <laughs> and, it, and it's uh, yeah, so it does it again. And what's right? Wait, it's, somebody it's thinks not this done is yet. okay. It's not done yet. Watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's a tricky monkey. Yeah. <laughs> now we know you uh, how you ended up like you did. Yeah, right. I ended up like Franklin. Yeah, yeah right. Plagued by humans. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to where we were. We're going to go watch the folks flood glass and put in the cartoons. All right, excellent. You know, I'm pretty sure that drive nets after a short amount of time. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> oh yeah, see that's gonna look good. What I wanted to do. So do you see how his wrist is, is a lot thinner? <coughs> he's, he's actually gonna start filling that in, and that wrist is gonna really pop. And then uh, he'll get the finger lines and everything in there, and then uh, we'll fire it. And then I'll come back over with the silver stain on the back late tonight and put the silver stain in, and we'll fire it again. And that'll get the nice green tiger stripe look that he's got with the added pustule. Because, you know, you really can't be a demon without a pustule. How many is too many pustules, John? You know, I don't really think you can have too many pustules. I, I, okay. I agree. I mean, if you really think about it. I guess it depends on what kind of demon you are. Right. Now, some demons have more pustules than others. I mean, is it odd numbered or an even numbered? Does that determine the strength of the demon's powers? The well, odd number of pustules versus the even number of pustules? You know, if, if you go with uh, Nurgle's number, which is seven, right. seven pustules are appropriate. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, Slanesh is fine. It's getting deep. <laughs> uh, you know, Canadians don't know how to count. It's actually something uh, nobody uh, really knows. Really? Yeah. It's, that it's explains a, so much. Fact, yeah. It's <laughs> um, very strange. In, in school, they... You can laugh out loud if you want. Well, it's I'm quite all right. Spell. Do you know the yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the American stops way before that. Yeah, yeah right. Okay. Yeah, right at the side. Stops of the, the county line okay. in some instances. Yeah. Ooh, look, potato. There's yeah. music. <laughs> Looking good, Adam. I stole your chair. Yeah, this last part was still much away. better. So, how's that paint consistency? Better? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna pan. I'm gonna have to pan over a little bit. Let me go and grab that camera. That wrist is looking better. That, his are the blue. Huh? Because he's got a mighty handsome wrist. He's got a mighty, mighty handsome wrist, no man. He's there. Let's make sure again. Let's go ahead and look here. Let's go with that. Let's go with a little more. Focus on there we go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to take this back. Let's go ahead with the tilt or pan. We need a pan. We're like a paw. There we go. I like the shadow on the arm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I did have one when I was coming back and it flicked off and it got a couple little pieces through here. Not terribly worried about that given that there's going to be stuff coming off. So I'm not going to freak out about it. Right. <coughs> and this will get all dried out for if you're uh, shading in it, and then uh, we'll uh, fire it still after the shading right. done. I've got the other the arm and the chest piece. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. I'm gonna and you're going to need, out. what, six to eight hour fire on these things, these components? Uh, this part's going to be probably closer to 10 to 12, uh, because it where's, actually goes to 1250. Where's your piece uh, that you fire? the oh, silver exactly. stain will be an eight hour, because it only goes to 10,000. Uh, there we go. Fitting the pieces. The puzzle comes together. So you're safe to fire reds with blues in the same kiln. You know, it's not oh, yeah. like an issue like it would be with some reds would contaminate Glass or be off. contaminated. Glass doesn't off gas like that. It's, okay. it's done. It's locked in. Okay. So I have a crazy, crazy thought here. Um, how would you feel about doing the silver stain firing face down? With the paint on, but doing a slight under fire, so we end up with a mat. So maybe firing it at around 11, 11.50. Will we that. get it? Will we get a good? My question is, will we get a good fire, and will we over fire the stain? <laughs> will we over fire the stain? That's my biggest problem. Is is if we get too high for too long, and and if we if we do the slow ramp up, slow ramp down, that's that shouldn't hurt it. But if we do the slow ramp down, it's going to remain in the hot zone for that silver stain for yeah, an extended yeah, period of time. Point. And if it if it blooms out, we're going to hate life because it's then turn. yeah, we're done. We got to redo it. 
I was gonna say if we do just a simple ramp up, hit it, and come down, maybe. I don't know. That's really high for soldiers. Have we tried it? Um, so my kiln at home right now, I'm having issues with it. My thermocouple is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, needs to be recalibrated because um, I'm over firing my, um, my my blacks numbers right now um, at 1100. I've got some serious issues with yeah, my kiln no because I'm getting a shine um, by firing that. So I've, I've got to I've got to recalibrate the thermocouple. You're off by over 100 degrees. Oh yeah, like. I know. So I um. I put a bunch of stuff in the kiln and I fired it around 1050 just to test out a uh, silver stain I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I did the test with the silver stain face down just because I had a bunch I had I was doing both sides. Because I I, I, the glass I was using it was antique glass. And really shouldn't be firing because you really don't know what's in the antique mm -hmm. glass, but right. I wanted to use the antique glass for this reproduction Victorian piece I was doing. Um, and I did the, the, I wanted to do the test on both sides, on the tin side and the not tin side. And uh, so Can I you put explain it in face tin down. Side, -tin side for those I did it both. I wanted to see what would happen. Uh, and it looked great, but when I did the actual firing, I did it face up, and it ended up darker than when I did it face down. Really? Yeah. Maybe, but now I do have a glass kiln, so it is top heated. So I'm wondering if the direct heat onto um, mm. onto that silver stain just gave it too long of a soak, too much of a heat. That's very interesting. I don't know yeah. why that. Sorry. Tin versus non-tin. So you have a tin side of the glass and you have a non-tin side. Uh, when glass is made, it's laid out onto a, a, a large roll of tin, and so it gets a nice flat appearance. That side actually contaminates the glass to some extent. So you have a tin side and a non-tin side. You can actually detect the tin side with an ultraviolet light, and it'll give you a milky white, blue-white color to it. Now the cool thing about it is there is no reason why you can't stain on either side. Um, uh, this, the effects will come out differently if you, if you uh, stain on the tin side versus the non-tin side. So if you know which side's which, you can have different expectations and uh, have them met accordingly and not be any surprises. Uh, There's a water test you can do because I mean the UV test lights can be expensive. There is a water test. Um, if you put a drop of water on it, if it spreads out, there's no tin. Uh, if it pulls up into a perfect water drop, then that does have the tin side on it. So yeah, that's another way to tell your tin side from your non-tin. Um, the tin side tends to make the colors more vibrant. Weird, weird effect. Uh, but uh, it's useful. And uh, uh, you can still make vibrant colors on the non-tin <laughs> side. You just end up using a little bit more stain. It's a little bit more work. Uh, but uh, it is certainly more uh, conservative to use the tin side. The neat effect. Uh, chemistry, who knew? Uh, I still tend to not lick the glass. That's usually considered bad. Yeah. Is, it, is there a lick test for tinning? There is a lick test for tinning. Uh, I don't think I want to lick antique glass. It's been, I mean, even if you do clean it, it is not porous. I, I think that's a bad idea to, uh, you know, 298. I've never had a problem using the mercury glass, the float glass. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, good. Well, how's that twitch good. of yours going good. right now? Good. 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 <laughs> good. Right. Are you going to turn this into a video video later? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll cut it up for you, too. You'll shorten it from the 14.2 hours down to uh, 35 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll take uh, key elements out, um, yeah, focal points. Um, John and I judging like your Olympic uh, painters. Yeah, yeah, that'll those parts in there. definitely are gonna make uh, the cut. Oh, would you like some shredded squid? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, shredded yeah, squid, I just dude. Found a bag of shredded squid. Yeah, uh, hot flavor. Karen got it for John. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have squid sugar monosodium. Yeah, MSG, MSG baby. Monosodium Makes movies. everything taste better. It yeah, does. No, it's the umami. That's a hard note there, folks. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't judge things so harshly. Oh, MSG is yeah. amazing. <laughs> you never know. You could like until it. it softened your gut lining. You really don't know. Yeah. Good until you tried it. <laughs> I was brought up by a British family, okay? We are not adventurous when it comes to good. The British, the only group to ever take over the world and search for spices to decide, man, we don't need spices, not so much. <laughs>